Hello there, today we're going back to basics. I'm going to talk about stroke, about the outline color for shapes in Affinity Designer version 2. Keep in mind, this is exactly the same in Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher if you work with vector objects, all right? So this is more like a universal for this whole family of software. Here we are in Affinity Designer. I'm on the desktop version, but you can do it on your iPad as well. So we got three circles and the first one got two colors apply. As you can see in the color panel, there's one color for the fill that's inside the shape. I can kick it out or I can apply a new color. We can use sliders, but we can change that. And I know that I think the most popular is a wheel now. So that's what many people do. We use this nice wheel. All right. And the second thing, this ring, that's outline color. I really like how they mark it with the ring. It's really, really a nice interface element. All right. So we can put this outline color. We can also go to stroke part here and modify the width of it. We can make it larger, smaller. All right. So that's nice. What else can we do here? As you can see, we got some controls here. If your shape got corners, you can decide that you want to make them rounded or sharp. I got nice close shape here, so no difference. But there's also a pressure here. So we can apply a pressure manually without using any like tablet and drawing device just by modifying this line. Take a look. Now I got more pressure on this side and less here. We can make it even more obvious like that. All right, so we can create some pressure profile here just by using mouse. If you wanna mimic some kind of like a pen or ink like that, right? So this is still a regular vector stroke with apply pressure. The second one, that's the shape without a fill color. Some of us like to modify it with a node tool. Keep in mind, if that's a shape you must first convert to curves and then we can play around just moving notes adding new notes and stuff like that at some point you think that oh i want to turn this outline to the actual vector shape can we do that yes of course we can go to the top panels above and you will need to search for the option to convert stroke, expand stroke. So go to layer and at the bottom here, there's option to expand stroke. If you click on that, take a look. That's not a stroke color anymore. The stroke is actual shape right now. And we can even further modify it. We can actually apply a new stroke now around the shape. Take a look, we got a new stroke. We can decide the stroke is in the middle, inside or outside the shape. So that's also handy. What if you want to apply multiple strokes? I showed that trick uh, last week, but I will also mention it here. You can use the FX, the layer styles. If you need multiple outlines, we can just keep adding them here. <laughs> Take a look, another one, click plus, and you can add another one just make it larger so it pops like that and we got multiple strokes and the last one is just example of shape without a stroke in that case you can add a stroke but sometimes you actually want to use this color from inside you don't want the fill color you can click this switch icon here this little arrow bam our fill color become a stroke color all right and we must be careful because if you make a duplicate, so let's say I right click and duplicate this whole layer. If I scaling this down by default, the stroke width should be the same. And I really like it, but I know some of you guys, you prefer to scale the stroke naturally. So what I mean is if you copy this guy, you want the stroke to shrink with it. In that case, please go to stroke first and turn on this one, scale with object. There's a little checkbox here, turn it on. And then when you scale it down, take a look, the stroke is shrinking as well. Let's compare those two. 
in on the left we scale the stroke with the shape on the right is the same one i use that with like icons and logos and the second one more like with illustrations we got already set up art style and you don't want to modify the stroke all right so that's how you can use a very basic feature what is our stroke color stroke color can be applied on vector objects and also on text okay guys don't forget to check out the playlist there are more than 110 tutorials for everything designer and keep in mind some of those tutorials also apply to affinity publisher and also affinity photo like this one for example we can use this in all three programs thank you for today and i will see you in the next tutorial bye